Uh, hello everyone, I'm Yang Yang from Inner Mongolia University. Uh, our research interests are the social media understanding and the multimodal understanding. <coughs> uh, the other answer of our research are from Tianjin University of Technology and the Institute of Automation Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, currently, the rumor detection approach generally relies on the training and the test paradigm of deep learning. <coughs> the model is, is initially trained to identify correlation between labels and uh, input features uh, using the training set. Um, after training, the model is used to classify the sample from test set. Uh, uh, this, 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 this approach may work well under the assumption that the training and the test set have identical distributions. Mm, in practice, there are a lot of emergent events appearing on the social media. Uh, due to the events was so early, there wasn't enough labeled data to spot the model training, and uh, the already trained model may fail because they, there exists a considerable semantics gap between the <coughs> uh, new, new, new and uh, uh, previous events. Uh, in our work, uh, we regard the data sets with abundant labels, labeled data as the source domain and uh, the data set lacking of labeled data as the target domain. Uh, the, <coughs> the detection model is trained on the source domain. When the, semantic gap, when the semantics of target domain uh, diverges from the source domain, the detection model trained solely on the source domain tend to show a poor performance. So it motivates us, uh, can we improve rumor detection model performance in the target domain by leveraging the unlabeled uh, target domain data set? <coughs> uh, the test time training uh, emerges as a solution to bridge the distribution gap between the source and the target domain. Uh, and through our slides, uh, the blue data are the feature from the source domain and the uh, yellow data from the target domain. So the <coughs> test time training introduces an auxiliary task within the training and the test, um, aiming to learn the semantics from the target domain sample and improving the trained model. Uh, in, our, in our slide, the G denotes the shared layer between the main task and the aux auxiliary task. Main is the re remaining layer of the main task, and the aux is the remaining layer of <coughs> auxiliary tasks. Uh, so, given the distinctive characteristic displayed by the individual sample in the target domain, uh, test time training shows promising performance in improving the model generalization. Uh, thus, in our paper, we try to incorporate the test time training into rumor detection and propose the Test time training for rumor detection, termed uh, T3RD. So in our work, we enhance the uh, detection model by uh, uh, slightly incorporating test time training into the uh, test uh, training paradigm. Uh, we normally introduce uh, self-supervised learning as an auxiliary task during the training and the test time training. Uh, to migrate the distribution distortion in test time training, we introduce a novel feature alignment <coughs> aiming to balance the knowledge derived from the training and the test set. Uh, the detail of our uh, framework is shown in the slides. Uh, we adopt the bidirectional graph neural network as the graph encoder, uh, and the loss function of detection uh, of, uh, for rumor detection denoted uh, L main, uh, follow the principle of test time training. Uh, we elaborately design an auxiliary task to effectively capture the information between uh, information uh, of social media conversations. Uh, specifically, we introduce uh, self-supervised learning as auxiliary task to capture the node to graph and node to node information. Uh, and uh, we denote the objective of auxiliary task uh, as L aux. <coughs> in addition, to ensure the model trained on the main task and uh, adopt the test sample, we introduce the feature alignment between 
source source data set and the target data set. Uh, and the, the objective of feature alignment is denoted uh, L align. <coughs> Uh, the entire progress of our framework is divided into uh, three distinct uh, phases. Uh, this is the training phase, and this is the test time training test time training phase, and this is the test phase. Uh, in our work, it is important to know that the source domain and the target domain uh, exist the distinct distributions. Uh, we have two detection settings. In the uh, low resource rumor detection, the training set involves the source domain data and a small amount of target domain data. And uh, the test set solely contains the target domain. Uh, and in the zero shot rumor detection, the training set only consists of source domain data set and the, uh, the, the, the test set uh, only contain the target domain. Uh, so, in both uh, experimental setup, uh, there exists the dis distribution difference between the training and the test set uh, to help us investigate the uh, efficiency of test time training. <coughs> so, during the training phase, we train all parameters for both rumor detection task, main task, and the auxiliary self-supervised learning task, uh, along with the feature elements. Um, uh, note that in the low resource setting, uh, the training set consists of uh, consists of some source domain data set and a uh, uh, small target domain data set. We can use the constructive learning to align the feature of source, source and target domain samples. In the zero shot setting, uh, only data from source domain is available for training. So we skip the constructive learning, constructive learning step in training. Uh, after training, the model with data from the source domain, we obtain the embedding, uh, we obtain the embedding for each source domain sample. Thus, we could compute the mean and covariance matrix uh, of source domain sample. Which 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 is which which are then utilized for distribution alignment between uh, during test time training phase. <coughs> uh, during the test time training process, we we change the learning model. Uh, we we fine tune the learning model by minimizing a weighted combination of losses from auxiliary self supervised learning task and the feature alignment task. Uh, as shown in our slide, we adopt uh, the parameter gamma serves to balance the contribution of uh, self-supervised learning and uh, the feature alignment. Uh, the optimal parameters set E, set S are derived by minimizing the, the overall uh, loss function as, uh, in our slide. <coughs> uh, in the test phase, we adopt uh, the trained rumor detection model to directly predict the label of test samples. Uh, it's uh, the original, it's a common process. <coughs> uh, so to facilitate the auxiliary task, we began to generate various view by data augmentations. Uh, as shown in our slide, we have the original view V0 and uh, uh, the V0 structure and attributes uh, uh, remained unchanged. Uh, for the V1, it's the shuffle the node attributes. Uh, the V1 uh, only uh, have the V the V1 remain unchanged the uh, graph structure, but uh, the attributes of nodes are randomly shuffled. The main task, the main node attributes will V2, where some attributes of nodes are masked, and the dropped edge V3. Um, there are uh, some edge are uh, dropped. <coughs> so in auxiliary task inspired by the multi-view constructive learning, uh, we designed two self-supervised learning tasks, uh, the global global constructive learning and the local constructive learning. For the global constructive learning, um, it aims to maximize the mutual information between the local nodes representation and the graph and the Global graph nodes representation, enabling nodes to obtain the environment uh, 
uh, semantics from the graph representations. For the local constructive learning, it aims to learn a robotic node representation of the local nodes by um, by by fighting the shared graph encoder through constructive learning, enhance the ability to accurately de determine whether two nodes observe from different view. <coughs> so we we verify the effectiveness effectiveness of our proposed method in remote detection task under low resource condition. Uh, in this scenario, we adopt uh, uh, high resource. Uh, uh, domain dataset and a considerable smaller label target domain dataset for training, uh, reserving the remaining target domain for test, test, testing. Uh, furthermore, we conduct zero-shot rumor detection and achieved uh, relatively good results on two sets of two datasets. Uh, in figure three, we provide sufficient ablation study by system by systematically removing components of our method to investigate the effectiveness of our method. And in figure four and six, we show the results of k-parameter analyzation. Uh, also, a detection model should also aim to detect rumor as early as possible. So we conduct early detection experiments to assess, to assess whether the model has a advantage in identifying rumor proper, uh, properly. We evaluate model early rumor detection problems from two pers per perspectives, the number of posts and the time of publications. <coughs> so we also conduct uh, rumor detection in a uh, uh, setting involving only cross-domain scenario, uh, and uh, our results show uh, uh, wonderful performance. So thanks for your attention. For more detailed information, please refer our paper. Thank you.